Let me show you around the stage on which this engineering drama is playing itself out. And all the action, of course, is going on out there, beyond the rocks, at the scene of the wreck, where more than 50 colossal cranes are at work, hauling on chains that are attached to the wreck. And the hope is that in the course of about 12 hours, the wreck will be gradually rotated, pulled upright onto her keel. Meanwhile, along the breakwater here, there is the typical media morass that you might expect at an event like this. A sense that the whole world is watching to see if the big lift really can be pulled off. Over there, you've got the little port of Giglio closed today. There's no coming and going of fishing boats and ferries. There couldn't be anything like that, of course, on this day when this massive operation is going on just beyond the mouth of the harbour. And then along the restaurants and the road behind us here, you can see tourists and local people watching along with the media. And the islanders, perhaps as much as anybody else, want to see today's operation succeed. They are sick of the sight of the Concordia lying stricken on the rocks just beyond their doorsteps. And if this operation today does go as planned and she's pulled upright, then perhaps by spring next year, it'll be possible to refloat the ship and tow her away to be scrapped on the mainland 